Welcome to Brief Crypto. We review the talk and action around crypto and sum it up. Today is Wednesday, November 22nd, and today's video is for entertainment only. Crypto strong. Got some bad news. The SEC attacking Kraken again. Binance settling with the SEC from when they sued, uh, when the SEC sued Binance back in June of 2023. Um, they also sued Coinbase at that time. And yet crypto is still strong. So yesterday we went through uh, several of these black swan events in crypto, big events that, uh, that were negative for crypto and, and looked at how the markets reacted, how the crypto market reacted in particular Bitcoin and Bitcoin, Bitcoin seems to just follow the cycles regardless. 35 months of summer, the 35 months of up followed by about 12 months of down, 35 months of up. And if we follow that pattern, we're going to hit a peak in late 2025, October, November, 2025. So crypto remains strong five months, a little less than five months to having four. It's expected now April 19th of 2024. So also looking at a little tighter, you know, blowing in and looking a little closer at Bitcoin. This is the, we're 52 weeks. We're one year into the 152 week summer, still 21 weeks to having four and we're above both fractals, the having three and the having two fractal, the high plus low divided by two line. And so things are really looking good. And we would expect based on past patterns that we'd be up somewhere between 50,300 and $60,000 per Bitcoin sometime between uh, the end of the year and the having event if we follow past cycles. And so the, the 0.65 Fibonacci from the having three peak down to the Bitcoin having three post peak low, uh, that Fibonacci retracement gets us back to 50,300 at the 0.65. So in the golden pocket. And so uh, that's been a common area that we've retraced back to before having event in having three and in having two looking at banter bubbles and another crypto strong so just yesterday we were down and look at these numbers for the day we have pith network up almost 42 percent blurs up 42 percent um we have ftx up 32 we have lido up 18.6 clayton up almost 20 thorchain up almost almost 17 solana up 12 um Tia, I always draw a blank on Tia, and I own Tia, so Celestia is up 15.4, Avalanche up 9, Cardano up 6.7, Alluvium up 15, Decentraland Mana up 7, Immutable X up 10.4, Theta Networks up 10.3, Crypto.com up 11.5, Gala Games up 8.5, Polkadot up 6.25, Cosmos up 6.7, so Beautiful green day for crypto. Let's go ahead and look at the hour. The hour has turned red, but uh, the green or the day is definitely green. So looking at news on CryptoPotato.com, the SEC met with Grayscale Investments to comply with a court order which requires the agency to reassess the ETF proposal, a proposal from last month, the spot Bitcoin ETF, converting GBTC, Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, to a spot Bitcoin exchange traded fund. The meeting follows Grayscale's submission of a new registration statement to the SEC last month, month in its attempt to transition the trust product into a spot Bitcoin ETF. A not notable development preceding this meeting was a formal mandate issued by a DC circuit court directing the regulator to re-review the firm's application. An earlier fi filing revealed that Grayscale had agreed with the Bank of New York Mellon, BNY Mellon, to appoint the latter as the transfer agent for trust shares. In this role, the bank will oversee and facilitate issuing and redeeming shares and manage Grayscale Bitcoin Trust shareholder accounts. So great news there. The Bitcoin Trust just continues to move up in a very bullish pattern. And uh, bull flags, we're now currently in a bear flag. But uh, that could that could change, and we could pop positive out of a bear flag anyway. Very positive for Grayscale Bitcoin Trust and Grayscale in particular. Currently at thirty dollars and forty five cents, and the discount is down to ten percent for a low in this month. Uh, looking at 
Bitcoin compared to GBTC. Bitcoin's up about 130% for the year or from the having three post peak low. And the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust is up 237. We've looked at this many times, but it's so significant. We're going to cover it again. Ethereum's up 73. ETHE, the Grayscale Ethereum Trust, is up 154. Still discounts in both of those, so still more gap to be made up. GSOL is trading at a, at a, at a big premium. And you can see that Solana's up 309% and GSOL, the Grayscale, Grayscale Solana Trust is up 423%. So um, currently the Grayscale instruments are outperforming their underlying asset. Looking at further news, money will flood into Bitcoin when an ETF is approved, says XNYSE president on CryptoPotato.com. And so Bitcoin, a uh, nice recovery. We've got uh, yesterday, big red engulfing candle for the day. And we have a nice green that almost takes out the entire red. We're at $37,326 for Bitcoin right now. And if we do get a, a more significant retracement, we'd expect it to come back maybe to the 0.5 at 33 or even the golden pocket down at 31,750. We've had several bullish crosses that we've covered. And of course, still the spot ETF is, approval is the big thing that we expect in quarter one of 2025, if not sooner with the Grayscale uh, Bitcoin Trust being converted to a spot Bitcoin ETF. Uh, looking at Bitcoin, we've gone through, um, we've, we've modified this a little bit for buying and selling, and this goes for most tokens. Of course, we'll be adjusting that and all coins maybe sell a little bit earlier um, than this when we do get into the sell, but we'd be DCA buying. We started DCA buying back in this time frame, a little earlier actually. And then, um, and we, we extended that out to pick up on, uh, right, right, right up to the end, like one month before we actually start selling. And hopefully if we follow past patterns, the more par parabolic, uh, steep, incline to the peak of Bitcoin in the having four cycle expected in October of 2025. And so this is our current buying and selling plan as far as, uh, and we, and we had higher percentages of buying back in this area at this point we're in with all the cash we had on the sidelines, not all of it, but most of it, 90% of it. And we're just dollar cost averaging in, uh, amounts from income and anywhere we can get it all the way up through July of 2025. Uh, following this plan. We probably will adjust this plan some more. We, we just adjusted it um, since we put it out maybe three weeks ago. Ethereum, nice bounce as well. It did come down below the uh, support channel for this up, uptrending channel, the support line. And, uh, but we've seen now in this 12 hour chart on tradingview.com, a couple of nice green candles currently at $2,061. For Cardano, we did get as high as 2,092 for Ethereum, um, uh, for Ethereum in, uh, just recently. So in this candle, in this 12 hour candle, we got up to 2,090, what did I say? 2,092. Um, so Ethereum is looking really good. A lot of bullish crosses there as well. And a couple of spot Ethereum ETFs have been, uh, uh, the applications have been submitted as well. So looking at further news on tradingview.com, this is a ZY crypto XRP to $1 SEC announces closed meeting fueling speculation of upcoming settlement in ripple case. Also on XRP DeFi technologies to launch XRP ETP exchange traded product in Europe next month. DeFi technologies and Bell's XRP exchange traded product product in Europe, a major step for crypto investments and bringing finance decentralized, uh, with decentralized markets. And so a couple of really good news articles for XRP. We're still on this uptrending channel. We are up near resistance at 61 cents for XRP. And we'd expect that any time now we should see a breakout. It might run flat up to the having event. And if we follow having two, you can see it ran or let's see, this is a weekly on tradingview.com. We actually ran for 36 weeks past the having event before we got this explosive action up. Um, COVID messed with us right before the having, uh, but uh, we actually right at the having started moving up 
in the having three time frame, Bitcoin having three time frame for XRP. So looking at some crypto related investment instruments, uh, we've already talked about, but again, Bitcoin year to date is up 127%. And the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust is up 255. Uh, Ethereum is up 74. The Ethereum Trust is up 242. And Bitcoin Cash is up 131. Bitcoin Cash Grayscale Trust, BCHG, is up 486% as of close yesterday. And so we are actually now trading at a premium on Bitcoin Cash. Ethereum is down to a 14% discount. And as of close yesterday, the Grayscale Trust was down to a 12% discount. So there's still room to make up uh, uh, 12 and 14% on those two. And we still have great returns on stocks related to crypto, Riot Platforms, Marathon Digital, MicroStrategy, and Coinbase, all up over 200%, while the NASDAQ is only up 46% year to date, and the S&P 500 less than 20 at 19%. So thank you for joining today's Brief Crypto. If you like today's video, please subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, and share it with others. Today's video is for entertainment and education purposes only. We are not financial advisors. You should always do your own investment research.